To begin, once on the app home screen, which is what we're seeing here, click on the sightings map. This screen will open up and display a message notice if you have previously set your alert area, which includes the sightings observed with a reliability rating. The reliability settings will be discussed in more detail in the settings help video. If you haven't already set your alert area, a notice will appear that describes how to set and save your alert area. We will go over that in detail now. When you first view the map on the sightings map page, this visible map area is a region you will be alerted about regarding sightings. If you would like to change this region, simply use your thumb and index finger to zoom in or out of the map. Once you have the desired area in view that you would like to be alerted about, simply hit the Save Alert Area button at the bottom of your screen. This alert area will apply to both the tornado and hail sightings. To use the sightings map for tornadoes, you click this tab and then touch the refresh button, which is down in the lower right hand corner of the app. If you would prefer to look at the current hail sightings, then you can touch the hail tab and then touch the refresh button. So let me zoom in here. And we've got some tornadoes, we've got some activity going on. By default it comes out up searching for tornadoes, so I'm going to switch over to hail, hit the refresh button, and see what activity has been taking place over the last several hours. So it says we found five sightings, and we can click on the detail here and see uh, the various size sizes and the reliability. An additional feature for Tornado Spy Plus users allows, allows you to view the radar on the map view you are observing. And this also can be selected by simply clicking on the radar tab. And in Tornado Spy 2 Plus 2.6, you will have the capability to also see animated radar on the sightings map. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. There are several different options. You can have uh, base reflectivity, composite, um, velocity, and motion. And this will allow you to see the detail of the animated radar as well as the sightings at the same time. So you can kind of see where the storm is headed. If we click on tornado here and refresh, So you can see there's a lot of activity here following the, uh, the red points on the map. We can also do the same with motion and velocity. I'll turn off the static radar just so you can see it better. Um, so red and green represent um, wind vectors and what you want to look for with this map is whenever red and green are combined well, once you start seeing those types of things you're gonna uh, start getting into your tornado warnings these tornado tornado warnings here have uh, been going on for pretty much all day so also um, we'll go back to uh, turn off the animated radar you can also set uh, your map mode so right now we're in a hybrid mode, so we're getting cities and streets and also uh, some of the terrain. If we go to map, we're going to get strictly a road view. If you have upgraded Tornado Spy Plus to include the Extreme Weather Radio, another set of tabs will be visible at the bottom of the map, which say Stop or Play. If you would like the weather radio for the nearest map location to, to play, simply hit the Play tab. So right now, as I move the map, you can see that we switched to uh, Monroe. It's just trying to find the nearest uh, weather radio um, to where you're uh, currently looking at. I can't uh, actually demonstrate the weather radio here since I don't have audio capability um, within the simulator. Within this cluster of uh, sightings, you can have three different types. You can have noble warnings, um, which are dictated in uh, this dark red maroon color. Um, you can have actual sightings of uh, tornado touchdowns and also user sightings as well. NOAA sightings are official warnings from the National Weather Service and the date of the sighting and the time 
is listed as well as the reliability of the source. NOAA sightings will have the highest reliability, although not 100% as they sometimes have to go back and adjust initial reports. NOAA warnings are also reliable but are sometimes based more on radar signatures than the actual spotter data. User sightings generally have a lower reliability rating and can be filtered out in the settings if desired. However, one disadvantage to filtering these sightings out would be that the user sightings can often come tens of minutes before the official NOAA sightings and thus can save you precious time of trying to avoid dangerous storms. User sightings are reported in real time, and thus they are reported to you immediately after being spotted. One disadvantage of including all user sightings is that some users are amateur sto storm spotters that might not report as accurately as official NOAA spotters. To view more details regarding the sighting, touch the white right facing area. This information will include the date and time of the report as well as the reliability rating, who reported it, the precise coordinates of the report, and then any notes that the user included, as well as the radar screenshot of the neighboring areas at the time of the sighting and any images of the hail or tornado if these were included in the sighting report. The radar screenshot is currently only available in Tornado Spy Plus. The white box in the upper left corner of the map allows you to search for either tornadoes or hell by date. Simply type in the month, day, and two digit year into this window and then hit done and then refresh to see the sightings that occurred nearest to this date. So you don't have to know the exact date, you just have to have a, a rough date to search by. So I'm going to search starting in January. 15th of 2013. I'm going to hit done and refresh. So it says we found nine sightings. We're going to look at the details on these sightings. And it looks like we did find one on the actual, or actually pretty close to the date. We found one on 113 even though we searched for 115. So that's the closest sighting to that date. 